Alright, so um, before we begin, I was planning to f solve a glitch where sometimes you won't be facing sideways uh, when you play the game. Uh, I just realized I haven't done that yet and it's getting kind of late, so I'll just see that for the next tutorial, I guess. But anyways, the first thing uh, that's not scripting related we're going to do, just because that's the most easiest. Uh, first of all, we just uh, kind of deleted the uh, NPC. So yeah, you can, you can just do that. And not only also, uh, also I added a new remote event. Uh, it's called knockback. So the reason why I added an event for knockback is uh, before we had to be like we're adding pl uh, player to player combat in this one, uh, except like doing a normal knockback way, it won't work in player to player combat because our normal knockback way, like fun, like you can't knock back other players from the server like only that player can knock back himself locally because of network ownership and stuff like that so the, the the thing we had to do is we had to let the server tell that player to knock back himself since the server can do it himself he does it with a knock uh knock back remote event so yeah uh so i'm gonna be covering everything that uh i'll be uh actually doing in this tutorial the first thing I'll be doing is obviously adding player to player combat. It will only be two players though. If I'm adding three or more, that's actually going to be so complex. Um, and there's also going to be no matchmaking system. It's just how the other player plays is he just joins your game. And it's, yeah. We, that, we, I'm not going to make it advanced like a match system or anything or time system or stock system. Yeah, that's going to be super advanced. Uh, so, yeah. Um. One thing I would like to say is this actually is super important. This is super important. Uh, not not this button, my bad. Okay, so this is super important. Since since this tutorial for now only works for two people, you're actually going to make it where servers that if you if you want to play this with your friends, you're gonna make the servers in this game. Uh, you're gonna make the max players in that server two. So you're gonna change that number fifty to two. And if you don't do that, uh, I doubt the game's gonna work. So, anyways, uh, I guess let's get started because this is gonna take a while. First of all, combat. Uh, we changed a, f a few things in here. Not really that much. I actually probably would say the first thing we changed is we added this, which basically listens for the knockback remote event. If it happens, just knockbacks itself, and the only parameter is the knockback. So yeah. We didn't change anything here, and yeah, I'm scrolling slowly because we changed a lot of stuff. I don't want to miss any, because then you guys would miss out on it. Uh, pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing was changed over here. Something. Oh yeah, something was changed over here. So I added this because if your player dies, I don't want the error like coming up. So I added this to like make sure there's not an error. So yeah, you should probably put that too. And let's see here. Yeah, that's what we changed for combat. Combat, not no combat. Server is a lot of things changed though. The first thing I'd like to say, we have a whole new function. Let me put some space around this function so you can actually see it. This is the function, right? Function name of the function is hit, and these are all the parameters. Uh, Char Hume is basically a player that did the attack. Hume is basically. Whoever got hit by it, knockback is knockback percentage, is the amount of percentage that attacked it. And stun is how much uh, you stun, you stun after doing the hit stun. And other info is the other info. For stun, I know it's super smash bros, so like, there's basically no stun. But just in case you want to, you can probably put that. Uh, I also don't change any of these numbers, because this is defining the function, I'll tell you how to change it later. Uh, the stun, so, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, stuff I put for all of these for each attack later So yeah, this basically it adds the percentage This makes it where the p person that was hit can't do anything after the hit and I'm gonna go ahead and add something else. I'm gonna stop all the animations of the other players so far There's Hume Get playing Animation tracks. This is a depreciated function, but I can't find an alternative. If you guys can, you should probably like tell me. Uh, v stop. So, all right. 
actually no I think this might hurt so let's just delete that so uh, this is and here's a stun part the listener is basically like if somehow you can move while you're stunned it just makes you not able to move again and this set just save stun integer save stun integer is basically it makes sure like you're not unstunned when you're supposed to be stunned it's kind of hard to explain it's kind of like the code variable we had task delay basically just you don't need to print it just task delay it waits for the stun time you put and if the save stun integer is still the same it'll disconnect the listener and which is this connector and then uh, whenever this line just basically makes the other player be able to move again and play particles uh, plays the particles yeah you, we did that last episode and you guys uh, this is my formula for the knockback this is my formula you guys can change it by changing these wonky numbers uh, but you guys probably shouldn't change this this actually controls like the up damage and stuff, stuff like that and so let's see this is basically like uh, if you're hitting a player it's gonna fire the remote weapon. but if you're hitting just an NPC it's gonna do the old way of doing knockback and I, would, I actually haven't tested uh, the new code with an NPC I only test some actual players so I don't uh, the NPC if it glitches uh, that's, that's my bad oh yeah and also if you don't have someone with you I know how to you can test with other players all you gotta do is click on test up here click on start make sure to set local server and set two players it's more it's not gonna be good and also added this so if the character is dead it, it would just skip the code so there's no errors happening and all these are pretty fine until you meet this see we used to have a lot of stuff here but now it's just the hit function and remember this is the guy that did the hitting this is the guy that is being hit it this is the knockback since this is the jab there's no knockback this percentage you guys can change these numbers and I'm putting 0 0.5 as a stun uh, time for every single attack because I don't feel like actually trying to decide what uh, yeah I don't feel like getting to like the balanced stuff but you guys can change that how you like uh, the second M uh, the M2 is basically the same thing remember yeah, we basically changed every single code we used to have inside of if hit player then inside the comment server and we changed replace of hit. But don't delete this part though. That does some push it. For the M3 Uh oh shoot. Uh I forgot to put this here, so I'm gonna put that there and this time it actually is knockback. I'm gonna make the knockback one. One is like the I said the default knockback. Well, at least in my formula, my formula is kind of it's kind of bad. I gotta say, I'm gonna make this percentage four. It's done time. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change that. But this video is gonna be pretty long because I wanna get. In, I'm actually gonna explain everything. If till yeah, let's go through this fast. If till base same thing. We place everything set here of hit. These are my parameters. Dash attack, same thing, my parameters over there. Down tilt here, up tilt here. Oh yeah, for up tilt I put up uh, two, cause so so the knockback will be upwards. Up air, we might put the up here too. Uh, fair, that, fair, oh, and put this back thing too, so it, actually, so it hits negative towards. There's that, there, uh, there's uh, it's two parts. So the first, like repeating hits, it has no knockback. And the final hit has knockback, but it's backwards knockback. So yeah, it's, that actually might be everything we change in combat server. Yeah, and we remember there are pace spins. So if I accidentally skip over something, uh, which is my bad if I do, you guys know I was looking there. So inside of here, we added a new function called "Is there another player?" So is there another player? It's basically checking if there's another player in your game. So if there is, and a player, if there is, it's gonna return V, and V is the other player. So uh, we also added this. It waits until the player character gets position. And the local script actually used to have a lot of code inside. 
I kind of deleted a lot of it to add the new code. So if you see, if I'm scrolling and you see a code that used to be here but that's not now, you might as well just delete it. Okay. Uh, for ch we got two new functions: change player UI, changes your UI for your percentage. Other UIs for the other player's percentage if there is an other player. And yeah, this is the code for it. It's pretty close to the passcode, except now it's in a function. And remember, this isn't exactly like the top code. There's some differences like here and here, so don't don't just copy and paste. And here we have this. Uh, we're cloning the player and putting it inside the viewport frame. And I'm also going to make it where... Uh, like, uh, I'm going to make it if there isn't another player... Uh, then the second box over here is just gonna be it's gonna be blank so uh, it's gonna delete all the scripts inside of the clone the camera and the player hurt listener and this is the snazzy stuff it's basically like um, if the player is hurt it changes the player UI but the player dies it disconnects this listener so it won't change the percentage thing anymore and it'll also set the UI to 0% but the player responds it's gonna wait until it gets the percent attribute and it's gonna do the listener again and this is for the other player this just just kind of just defines the variable even we're not using it and local function set up other player yeah this is pretty long function scroll a bit to the right so you guys see what's happening there this basically just sets up the other player and puts his uh, model in the viewport frame makes it like just makes him load stuff like that yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and also it does the listen ring. So, whenever the other player starts taking damage, it will fire the change other UI function, which is at the top. And is there? And uh, here we start like getting to like uh, cause this function we made it here, we made it over here. It don't really do anything if we don't call it. So, uh, inside. So first of all, at the beginning of your script. If there's already another player when you join that server, like you're the second point join that server, this if then will run and it will set up the other player. And if someone joins your server, uh, meanwhile you're playing it, this will fire. Uh, and if the other player dies, this will fire. I gotta scroll a little bit to the right. And this basically just waits until uh, the appearance of the character loaded. And the maximum it can, it can wait is 10 seconds using the tick uh, thing. So yeah, script has some minor changes. You guys don't have to listen to me ramble on a lot. And yeah, for this this script. So we used to have actually we used to have all of this inside of this, but th I just realized that's pretty much really laggy. I didn't even notice it. I thought it was already outside here. So. Everything except for this that was inside here just move outside. We also added this new line, save stun in integer. It's kind of like the code thing. And camera control, we change mostly for camera. Con my camera control is mostly just like uh, things to make your uh, things like to like uh, it's not really yet to modify what we already have, not to add new stuff in camera control. So I don't think so. We change anything in here. Nothing in here. I know that. Nothing in there. Uh, I'm pretty sure you changed some stuff in here, so I'm gonna look a little closer. And oh yeah, here's what we changed. Uh, instead of here, I made this divided by 20, so it's a little bit less slow. The fast fall is a little bit less faster. You guys can change this number. The higher uh, you can change this number, but there's a cap to this number. It means uh, once you reach that cap, no matter how much you change it. It won't affect uh, the vector first, so I think that's how we changed over here. Oh yeah, we also we added this around this already existing if else function and make sure to add this in. This basically just checks if the if you're dead or not, and if you are, it's not gonna run this part or it's gonna draw an error. We don't like errors. And this is how we cha uh, This is where it changed. So. If you if you're playing single player and there's no one else in your server, obviously uh, we don't want the camera to take another player in case of the camera. So we're just gonna make the camera when you're the only one in the server. It's just gonna follow you around. And so yeah, this basically uh, makes it the 
find these variables and if there is a player it's going to do what we already have with the camera and if there isn't a player uh the camera's just going to be focused on you and the camera's always going to be this much away from you and i actually don't think we changed anything here 